Hi there, in this video we're going to review my very own book Dutch Grammar for Beginners with Exercises. So for who is this book? As the title says, it's for people who want to learn Dutch grammar and it's for all beginners. It's the answer to the question, oh, I want to learn the future tense um, in Dutch. Can you tell me how the future tense is made? Oh, okay. And then you take the book and you look at, oh, okay, where is the future tense here? Future tense, future tense. Okay, page 35. And then I go to page 35 and learn about the future tense. Uh, and if we go there, 35, you go to the chapter about future tense, obviously. Um, and most chapters, they start with a little bit of an explanation. Uh, so, zullen, gaan en willen. Zullen is will, shall, formal. And gaan, will, to go, informal. Uh, first, there's a little bit of an explanation. And then, usually, I put some examples there. For example, here, dat zal ik niet doen. I won't do that. So, you have some sample sentences with the translations. What I also put there is the questions that uh, beginner or beginning uh, students usually ask. They will be like, hmm, but you have willen. Why isn't willen will? And then, obviously, I explain here in the book, well, willen is to want to. And gaan is will. So that uh, you're less confused and you learn on, uh, you learn more Dutch here on the second page of uh, the chapter about future tense. There are the conjugations and where applicable, I also put exercises, for example, here, translate formally and so on. Uh, the solutions to the exercises are at the end of uh, the book. Uh, and it's a book full of these kind of questions. For example, here, how do you say other it's not as straightforward as you would think, so I put some explanations, some examples, and uh, some remarks, so you uh, know the differences between anders, andere, and andere. All right. I mentioned that there are solutions at the end, but there are also QR codes to the appropriate videos on this channel to have more explanations, other examples. So if you have additional examples, then you can simply scan the QR code and learn more about uh, Dutch grammar. So what are the advantages of this book? It's very concise. It's not a big book. It's 150 or 160 and so on uh, pages. Uh, it's to the point. I try to keep it very short and try to explain it very simply. It focuses on the differences between Dutch and English. So uh, if, for example, this will and willen, obviously I'm going to write about that. I wrote about that in uh, this book. So it's very useful and it's uh, rather cheap. Uh, there are other grammar books, obviously, that are a little bit more expensive. Uh, obviously, if it's a little bit cheaper, then you get don't get a really nice layout with pictures and so on. But you know, it's a grammar book. So uh, there's also an ebook version, and you can buy both the uh, printed version as well as the ebook version through the links in the description below. Or you can take a look at more of my reviews of grammar books that you see on the playlist uh, there. See you there.